Novena to our mother of perpetual health. Immaculate mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our mother, the land of our birth. We pray for all nations that peace be on earth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we gather to honor her and to pray for all of our, our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask mercy and pardon from God. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross, Jesus gave us you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all of our needs. Please lift up your intentions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in our sufferings in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us never forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much Help us to do the same. While praying for our intentions and for the intentions of here present in this novena, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back God to all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. We pray for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes 
We ask you to bless all of our families with your tenderly motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home was at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in the genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Our response will be, loving mother, help us. Loving Holy Mary, mother. loving mother, help, help us. Help. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, loving, loving mother, mother, help us. Our mother of perpetual help, loving mother, loving mother help, us. help us. We sinners call to you, loving mother, help us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving mother, loving mother help, help us. us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your son, Jesus. Loving, loving mother, mother help, us. help us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving, loving mother, mother, help us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving, loving Mother, mother help, us. help us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, loving mother help, help us. us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, mother help, help us. us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving, loving mother, mother, help us. That we may strive to be true Christians, be by our loving concern for others. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Mother, loving mother, mother, help us. That we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving, loving mother, mother help, help us. us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving, loving mother, mother, help us. us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we to pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen the Pope the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, mother help, help us. us that we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving, Loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him. Loving, Loving mother, mother, help, help us, us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving, Loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our heavenly Father. Loving, loving mother, mother, help us, us. That we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men. Loving, loving mother, mother, help us, us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. To pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving, loving mother, mother, help, help us. us. Pray in silence at this point for your own intentions. Holy Mary, help us in all our needs. Pray for all the people of God 
may all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all of our needs. Amen.
Shenu Et anti cum documentum Novo sedari tui Preces fide suplementum Sensum defectui Genitori genitoque Laus et jubilacio Salus ono virtus coque Sir et benedictio Procedenti aputroque Compassit laudacio Amen. You have given them bread from heaven, having within its own sweetness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Mm-hmm. 
à, tại thường thường là có đó một lần thường thường nếu được hai lần một lần đầu ra đó để xong đó Good evening and welcome to La Purissima. Please join us in singing, I want to praise your name.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening. Yet, we know that Wednesday is set, set up by the church to honor Central Self. Just power of Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and of uh, Jesus, our Savior's you know, false fathers. He is example for us to follow Jesus, our Savior. May when we honor him today, when we celebrate the Eucharist, we are praying and intercede by St. Joseph, becoming like him, people of humility, of service, and of will of God. Let's now acknowledge that we are sinners, that we may be worthy to celebrate his Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrary of heart. Lord, have a mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant us by the example of St. Joseph, and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the re reward you promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way, and not according to the tradition they received from us. For you know how one must imitate us. For we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. This is a sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Thank you. 
the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like a white washed tombs which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead man's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside, you appear righteous, but inside, you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have enjoined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourself that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In today's Gospel, Jesus criticize the Pharisees and scribes for their hypocrisy. They claim to be holy and appear righteous. But the reality is they are evil, wicked people. But they always claim that and criticize their ancestors who killed the prophets and the ones that God sent to correct their own people and even conduct. And finally, 
it was them, the Pharisees, who killed the Son of God, Jesus, our Savior. Who knows? Like a script, scribe and Pharisee. We sometimes yeah, become hypocrites. I do remember a lot of people. Whenever they, they talk about Judas, Iscariot, and St. Peter, they condemn them. Why did they do that? Betray Jesus and his love. But who knows? Nowadays, we are living in this modern world. We should realize any time we commit the sins, then we betray Jesus. And we are hypocrites like the Pharisees and scribes and Jesus condemned. Who knows? We adore and worship God in the church. But outside the church, we betray God and offense Him and His love. So, let us pray. Thus, the histories of the Pharisees and scribes must not be repeated by us who are Jesus' disciples. What we are before God, we must be so be before others. We know that we are all human beings. That is sinners. That's why we must be sincere with ourselves. May God help us to examine our life, our conduct, and His Spirit will help us to his, his message that he gave to us today in today's gospel. That we may renew our life by accepting our human condition and correct our sin by having a new life of sincerity and of righteousness. Who we are, what we are, before people, we must be so before God. We cannot conceal ourselves before God. Please stand. Confident of God, our Father's mercy and forgiveness and graces for us who love, let us offer to Jesus and with him to the Father to pray for the church and for our conversions. For the church, may God grant within her people a purity of heart and genuine witness of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all in positions of governmental and civic leadership, may God inspire them in modeling self-sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer, may the Lord sustain them through his loving presence and the gen generosity of his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, 
May God look favorably and generously upon the work of our hands, that it may be for his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they rejoice in the gift of everlasting life, especially for Carmen Anconera, Ancorena. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for special intention of Vanessa Martinez, let us pray to the Lord. We thank you, O oh God, our Father, for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to renew our faith, love, and life. Help us to do that according to his message that we have just heard in the gospel. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The glory and for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, for of our own mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give a thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal and God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you faith in praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this judgment was given by you as a spouse to the virgin mother of God, and set as a wise a faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels pray, your majesty, dominions adore and powers of tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble pray as we acclaim. Holy. Oh. 
ทั้งฟาวซาฟอนโฮลีเนสเมคโฮลีเดอร์ฟอร์ดีสกิฟส์วีเปรย์บายเซนดินดาวยอสปิริตเออร์พอนเดมไลกาดิฟอร์สโซ
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe for all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, My peace I leave for you, the peace I give for you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. condemnation but hell in mind and body behold the Lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be held. Let us now prepare our soul to receive Jesus' body into our soul by saying to him, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, given thanks to God through him. Alleluia. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delight, we humbly ask you, O Lord, thus by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. We are defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebook him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who brought about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May this end it go in peace and the serve of the Lord. Once again, I thank you very much for joining me in this Holy Mass to honor St. Joseph today, Wednesday, the day that the church set out to honor him. He is, his example is an excellent example, a modern of faith of love, of service, and humility. May he protect our families and our parish. And have a good evening.